So what is the impact of this current? So you know Iceland is the northernmost country located entirely in Arctic Circle. So when this Irminger current reaches there, it increases, it elevates the temperature and as a result, it uh, converts the weather, the temperature pleasant and very suitable for human activity. That is why near this coast, the population resides. After that, what happens? Welcome dear student, I am Kanaiya Jha and uh, this is Plutus IAS platform and in this session we discuss the idea of ocean current. So you know very well ocean current hold a very significant position, significant part of our prelims as well as means examination. You can identify questions from this topic very frequently, whether it is BPSC, whether it is UPSC, whether HPSC, each considers this very relevant. So we will today discuss decipher, decode the idea of ocean current, including with the examples, including with particular context. So let us begin the discussion here. What is the meaning of ocean current? So you know very well, ocean, there are, there are uh, several movement in ocean water. You know, ocean water have some vertical movement like tide and some horizontal movement like ocean current and the wave. So ocean current are quite different from the tide or the wave. It is the continuous movement of immense amount of water into a definite direction, into a defined direction. Here what happens due to multiple factors, reasons, the ocean water follow a very defined course, channel like rivers of the land and they start flowing from one place to another place. So this way water in ocean moves and this called the ocean current. Interesting here is the surrounding water remain, remain stable and there is no influence on these water that is very remarkable here. So this way ocean current is the feature of each and every ocean, whether it is Atlantic, whether it is Indian Ocean, whether it is Pacific Ocean. The question is that why such a current flow in different ocean? So the current uh, in ocean is result, is product of several factor. Like suppose rotation of earth, when earth rotates from west to east, so what happens here, the rotating earth is a solid body and water, oceanic water as being a liquid body, uh, does not go side by side, rather there is a backward flow, backward movement, uh, retreat of ocean water into the opposite direction. So due to rotation of earth, some water is starts moving into the backward direction means east to west and this way equatorial current, this way opposite direction of current, equatorial current uh, appears near the equator. In addition with that, the heating of ocean water, Coriolis force, even the prevailing wind, again the suppose seasonal wind melting of ice near the polar region produces the ocean current in the oceans. So that is very interesting. That is a very, uh, we can say significant, that has been significant for human civilization. Since ancient, we are very familiar with this current and our ancestor utilized the potential of such current. Even they carried out their navigations, their voyage, 
through this channel through this currents so now we will discuss one by one regions as well as the ocean current of atlantic uh, ocean so here let us start discussion on current of atlantic ocean current of atlantic ocean so you know very well i am drawing here picture of atlantic ocean so you know atlantic ocean is a, a second is a second largest ocean confined between the south america and the north america here and and here greenland iceland and in this part means eastern part of atlantic ocean is occupied by africa again here the europe this part is of europe this way so atlantic ocean being the third largest ocean hold significance in global uh, economy as well as in geography you can identify the shape of atlantic ocean appears s shape so it is s shape ocean here what happens in atlantic ocean due to rotation of earth and the heating of ocean near the equator this is the equator here 0 degree what happens some water water uh, ocean water level elevates and here what happens so water is start moving into the backward direction of earth movement so this way near equator warm water is starts moving from the coast of africa to the coast of south america this particular movement of ocean current in atlantic ocean called as per the location north atlantic equatorial current and what were the reason of this formation so it was result of heating of ocean water and the a rotation of earth on its axis so this is the principal cause of the formation of north equatorial current and the south atlantic equatorial current now what happens here so you know very well that if such current such water accumulates anywhere suppose here so here some uh, incident occurs like this piling of of water creates generates into a very different current that is sometime called the anti equatorial or counter equatorial current this counter equatorial current particularly in this guinea gulf of guinea called guinea current okay now what happens so what we learned the guinea current is the counter equatorial current of atlantic ocean result of the piling off of water near the south american coast what after that so rest of the water uh, collides with the south american coast and thereafter they bifurcates into different direction the south atlantic equatorial current this way follow the route near the off coast of the brazil and that is why it is called the brazil current it is a warm current that flow near off coast of brazil what about north equatorial current so north equatorial current here here a uh, faces obstacle created by this group of island that is called the caribbean island so caribbean island are the group of island comprising several small island some are called lesser antilles some are called greater antilles so here what happens some water starts flowing east to this antilles island and that is why it is called antilles current some water enters into caribbean sea and the current here appear that is called caribbean current 
After that, what happens? The same water starts flowing, continue their flow, and near coast of Florida, the same current called Florida current here near the coast of America, near Cape Hatteras, very, uh, very merger happens, and this Antilles current join the Florida current, and this way here what happens? So a fris, the very strong ocean current appears, ocean current uh, emerges and this ocean current is called the Gulf Stream. Gulf Stream. So Gulf Stream is one of the world uh, strongest current that found near the coast of North America and here you should consider it is about 70 degree northern uh, hemisphere, northern latitude and by such latitude the temperature reduces significantly but due to influence of this uh, gulf stream temperature remain constant, remain pleasant and very interesting thing you can identify due to influence of this gulf stream here near the coast of North America, the most populous, most vibrant, most uh, progressive city are located, whether it is suppose New York, whether it is Washington DC, whether it is Philadelphia, all are located here due to the influence of this Gulf Stream. Now what happens after that? So Gulf Stream, why becomes so strong? So reason behind it, the stream collects the water of Antilles current as well as Florida current and it is supported by the Coriolis force of Earth. What is Coriolis force? So you know very well Coriolis force is a deflective force that uh, stresses, that, uh, that uh, deviates the moving object. In northern hemisphere, it deviates moving object into their right and in southern hemisphere, this deviate into their left. So here what happens, Gulf stream is guided by Coriolis force and again influenced by the uh, westerly wind becomes so strong here. But at the same time, what happens? The Melting of ice near Greenland and Baffin Bay produces a cold current that is called Labrador current. So Labrador current, current that comes from Greenland and the Baffin Bay is the cold current and you know very well cold current brings the cold water near the warm region. So that is the nature. Near the coast of Newfoundland, Canada, what happens? The Gulf Stream and the Labrador merges, mixes with each other. Now what happens? When cold uh, current and warm current join each other, the situation become very uh, different, very uh, alternate situation appears here. Here, both produces very dense fog and you can imagine if dense fog is there means there must be obstacle in navigation. So if suppose uh, the sailors are sailing their vessels, it may collide with the coastal rock or suppose the iceberg brought by the Labrador Sea. So this is one of the very uh, dangerous zone in ocean. But here what happens, so we should trace the tail of this current, Gulf Stream. So Gulf Streams comes from this African region. So what happens, meanwhile, it brings some planktons. What it brings, so plankton is being carried out, is brought by the Gulf Stream and here due to this confluence, all such plankton are being deposited here near the coast of uh, the Newfoundland near the coast of Canada. So what happens here? 
here uh, this accumulation of plankton attracts the fishes and that is why it results into the most uh, producing region it is one of the renowned uh, fish producing region that is called the grand bank so if two uh, suppose uh, ocean current one is warm one is cold collides fog emanates fog produced there and again if potential if a uh, plankton is there so it will be accumulate so this is the result of confluence of two ocean current now come to next what happens so similar to labrador current one more cold current comes here uh, comes here from the polar region it is called east greenland current here east greenland current again again brings the cold water in the atlantic ocean but still the gulf stream continue their flow but due to this uh, collision the gulf stream has lost their intensity their velocity now it converts into the very feeble very weak current and this weak current sometime called the north atlantic drift so drift is the variety of ocean current refers a very weak very feeble movement of ocean water so you can consider here it is mild it is weak form of ocean current we are just about 1 to 2 km speed may have so that is the things when north atlantic drift reaches near the coast of iceland it is called irminger current so irminger current flow near the iceland and it is a warm ocean current so what is the impact of this current so you know iceland is the northern most country located entirely in arctic circle so when this irminger current reaches there it increases it elevates the temperature and as a result it uh, converts the weather the temperature pleasant and very suitable for human activity that is why near this coast the population resides after that what happens so you know here the group of island there this way so that is the great britain and the ice ireland so this is ireland and this is great britain island occupied by the united kingdom so when irminger current collides with the great britain and iceland it bifurcates into different branches here this way the northern branch of irminger current moves ahead and it reaches up to the coast of russia that is part of that is called the kola peninsula again here the coast of norway is influenced by this norwegian current norwegian current so what is the worth here of this norwegian current we can identify the location of kola peninsula as well as the norway that both located beyond the arctic circle means these are the region usually covered with ice but due to influence of entrance of this norwegian current the region remains ice free ocean water remain in a liquid form and that offers navigations that offers the seamless communication so due to norwegian current the uh, the port or the navigation facilities remained operational throughout the year in this region and here very popular port is located that is the murmansk port and that operates throughout the year so that is the murmansk port that is of russia again a branch is there and it enters into the bay of biscay this is 
coastal area of France and Spain and that is called the Bay of Biscay. It again increases the temperature of Bay of, Bay of Biscay and converts into a pleasant area of ocean. What later? So this current again uh, proceed advances to this part here. So now what change occurred here? We should connect one thing here that when it starts the suppose blowing or flowing here, the temperature in early stage was about 25 degree Celsius. Over the time it decreased about for suppose 5 degree Celsius. But if it comes near the equator, the temperature of this water is 5 degree Celsius. The temperature of surrounding area of this current is more than 40 degree Celsius. So a current, suppose 5 degree temperature is the temperature of ocean water and when it enters into the warm region, this will be considered by uh, considered a cold current reason behind that this reason behind that the uh, affected area is quite warm quite uh, warmer than the current that is why this current here called a cold ocean current and on uh, the name of island canary so canary island it is called canary cold current so this way what happens a gear a cycle we can identify found in northern Atlantic Ocean and it comprises North Atlantic Ocean current, even Antilles current, even Caribbean current, Florida current, Gulf Stream, Irminger current near Iceland, Norwegian current near Norway and Kola Peninsula, even uh, Rennell current near Bay of Whiskey and finally a cold current, it is Canary, Labrador and East uh, Greenland current. So this way there are more than 10 current found in the North, uh, North Atlantic Ocean. Now imagine here, suppose we drop our port here, our uh, suppose a uh, boat here. So if we suppose sail our boat through this Gulf Stream, can we say this will provide us support and we can easily hover uh, over this ocean? So it is true. What happens? Sailor utilized the potential of this uh, ocean current. They used to sail uh, along with the current of ocean. And now as a result, North Atlantic Ocean become the world most busiest ocean. That is why it is called the Great uh, trunk root, the big trunk root it is called or big trunk root, big trunk root it is called the North Atlantic current or great circle root, again great circle root. So this provide us navigation facility, this provide us fishing opportunities, this increase the temperature of coastal area. Now relate more things. Suppose, suppose a cold current is there, like this way Canary current is there. So what happens if suppose wind comes from this part, the cold current decrease the temperature of that coming wind and this hinders the uh, formation of clouds, this hinders the rainfall. So wherever cold current flow, it results into desertification over the coastal area. That is true here and here the Sahara Desert lies. So it is influenced by the Canary current. Okay. So these are some potential. Now if warm current is there, so this will provide us rainfall this actually uh, increase the potential of rainfall how so suppose wind arriving this way suppose over the coast wind will definitely absorb the moisture produced by the warm current and this way this uh, uh, this wet wind may poor may uh, may yield rainfall over the 
लैंड सो वेर अब एवर वार्म करेंट द पोटेंशियल ऑफ रेनफॉल इज इमेंस वेयर एवर कोल्ड करेंट नो रेनफॉल यूजली ऑकर्स सो दैट इज द थिंग्स अगेन नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ अटलांटिक ओशियन सो इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू द नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफेयर इन साउदर्न हेमिसफेयर इन साउदर्न हेमिसफेयर वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई द द वास्ट एरिया ऑफ लैंड कवर्ड बाय स्नो सो वॉट हैपन्स दे प्रोड्यूसेस मोर वाटर मोर कोल्ड वाटर देन नॉर्दर्न साइड सो हियर द नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफेयर दिस वे produces the cold water and near the coast of argentina particularly island falkland near the island falkland the cold stream comes from the antarctic region and this is called falkland current so falkland current when join the brazil current this is falkland current falkland current so it alters the uh the characteristics of brazil current and entire current converts into the cold current due to immense availability of cold water this southern branch of atlantic ocean current is called west wind drift west wind drift that is the cold stream again west wind drift when reaches up to the coast of africa it collides with the southern tip of africa and some water continue their flow some water moves this way the water moves toward the equator called banguela current banguela current here so banguela is the location of angola country so banguela current here flow and what is the outcome of banguela current we should correlate we should identify here and what we learned that we are ever cold current it aggravate it actually creates the conditions for the desertification and it happens here banguela current due to influence of banguela current the kalahari desert as well as nubian desert a uh, nabim desert nabim sorry desert lies there again due to influence of falkland current here we can identify the atacama desert so where ever cold current it uh, it creates condition for dryness it produces heavy dense air that uh, that basically restrict the formation of clouds so this way several currents are there in atlantic ocean and the current all current are result of different phenomena different uh, we can say causes factors now we should identify that in northern atlantic ocean it is a very unique it is a very unique location lies here that is called sir gaso sir gaso sea sir gaso sea so sir gaso sea is the part of north west atlantic ocean it is sometime called the ocean without the coast why this thing is there and what is the characteristics of this sir gaso sea so sir gaso sea basically is uh, the result is the product of accumulation of sea weed sea grass the variety particular variety sir gaso weed found in northern atlantic ocean and here what happens the this gear the system of ocean current through this here this near the coast of america just side to the gulf stream and gulf sargasso the the grass sargasso is started accumulation there so concentration density of grass here is quite immense so that it becomes so dense that even we can move there we can walk over that sargasso sea and what is the outcome of that uh, hundreds thousands of ship trapped there 
they actually uh, is stranded there and they finally sink there. So that is the issue created by the Sargasso Sea. The question is that why they are here? So region behind it, they are located in the region, ocean water are very calm, very stable. Next factor is here that they actually, uh, the grass sargassum, sargassum grass only found in the North Atlantic Ocean. So this is very peculiar. This is very endemic variety of Atlantic Ocean. That is why they found here. So this way it exists again. This area is the high pressure zone. In high pressure, we will discuss during the class pressure belt. That high pressure usually uh, characterized by the vertical movement of air. So here air subsides from the upper atmosphere due to absence of uh, horizontal air movement, this accumulated will there. So that is the uh, current of Atlantic Ocean. What we learned, we should memorize here. So we learned that several current flow in oceans and current are well defined uh, movement of ocean water. In Atlantic Ocean, if we consider there are more than 15 ocean current. Some are warm ocean current. They brings warm water from the low latitude while some are the cold ocean water. They brings the cold water from the higher latitude. Here interesting fact is that usually the warm ocean current now identify the region warm ocean current found east to the coast in low latitude region means uh, in tropical region usually warm ocean current exists or found east to the coast while the same latitude uh, if we take here the western side of a continent uh, continent is marked by the cold ocean current. So here cold ocean current on west side and warm ocean current on east side of ocean found. This was the question of UPSC last to last year. Okay. So make it clear some theoretical ask questions also comes in geography. As far as the name of current. So we learned that there is equatorial current, Antilles current, Irminger current, all such there. Influence if we uh, identify, so some are very positive influence, some are, some have very negative influence on coastal area. Like suppose they uh, induces desertification, they induces the uh, scarcity of water, they induces the dryness. If dryness is there, scarcity of water, rainfall is not there, it must uh, be very adverse for agriculture activities, for industrial activities. Again, if suppose potential of water, then it will be favorable, ideal for agriculture, ideal for even industrial development. Again, the natural vegetation as far as concerned or the biodiversity. So wherever warm ocean current biodiversity rich there. So that is the ocean current all about uh, you should memorize this along with the nature and the characteristics of ocean current from the, your textbook. In next session, we will discuss more interesting aspect of geography. Uh, continuously it will be. So, thanks and all the best, all of you.